This year, I made the coolest thing I've ever made. This is a project. While battling lymphoma, I made my own wheelbarrow robot. Now, it's still remote controlled, right? But it's on its way to being a full-fledged robot. Almost the entire device is made out of salvage materials, and I started with two electric wheelchairs. The first thing I did was strip them down to their main components. I needed them down to their base level. Fortunately, both wheelchairs were in great shape, they just had bad batteries. <laughs> Look at me all riddled with cancer trying to make a difference in the world. Now I've got a ton of experience with electronics, but this is a whole new process for me. I wired all the electronics new, put everything into this old ammo box, and gave it a really sweet controller, uh, a Sabertooth 2x32. I wired everything up to a radio frequency controller. Here's my first test. I started out with 16 amps worth of batteries. I just wasn't sure how fast it was going to be. Oh, heck yeah. Now we're talking. This is my first live ground test for Femus, and I don't know what I was thinking. It's not even voice controlled. Oh shit! Oh, stop robot! Stop robot! Cut! Cut! You can't laugh at yourself. The lifting force on this linear solenoid that I used for the dump mechanism is around 5,000 newtons, so its lifting capacity is more than the steel in the wheelbarrow can hold. I figure about 400, 500 pounds, roughly. I was so excited when I got to this point. Of course I had to give it a wicked paint job. I mean, it's a robot. I named it Femus after Polyphemus from Homer's Odyssey. And the reason why is because of this pan tilt camera I stole from an old Rover toy and placed on the front. I added a ton of other quirks and bobs and bits that I haven't wired up, put in yet. They'll be coming soon. And there she goes. Man, I'm so proud of this thing. Not only does it look cool, but it's actually functional. I've used it a dozen times between then and now um, just to help me move things. traffic coming. Okay, be careful around the car, robot. Just beat lymphoma. Just had back surgery. I'm not supposed to lift more than 10 pounds for six weeks. It's just that my tools are about 30 pounds a case. And when I lift them up, it would hurt my back. So it's kind of awesome that my robot oops, will uh, help me take it all in one trip and I don't have to worry about stressing myself. Normally I have to empty these things out halfway and load them in and then load the tools back into them. Now, a lot less trips. For the next phase of my Femus build, I am going to be putting tracks I'm making out of these dirt bike tires on it. Um, it's a bit of a long process, um, a lot of fabrication involved, but it's going to be so cool when it's done. That's in addition to making it fully robotic. I'm currently writing software that'll allow it to follow me around the yard, follow ground signals, and um, maybe even respond to Alexa if I can get that far. So please subscribe, or at least consider it, and uh, have a great day.